Hello friends! Today I have another Stitch Fix video for you. I just got my next box. If you watched my last video, you saw that my stylist that I had last time I really liked, so I kept the same stylist. It's the first time since doing Stitch Fix that I've kept the same person, because most of the time I'm like, meh, I don't know, eh. There's been one where like it was one box and I was like, absolutely never again. <laughs> But today we have the same stylus as we had last time and I'm excited because I really like the stuff she picked the first time. So thank you guys for watching, subscribing, getting notifications, all of that stuff. I've been really enjoying doing these mid-size Stitch Fix hauls. This might be for a little bit the last Stitch Fix. I'm totally open to trying a different box. I know you guys told me about Nordstrom that has one called Trunk something. I can't remember what it's called right now. And there's so many other ones, so I'd love to try another one after this. But like, you know, I've been telling you guys, we are in the process of getting ready to sell our house. You can see my room actually looks clean for once. So like the literally the last thing that we're taking down is my backdrop right here. So my house is just in utter shambles. So I think we're gonna pause Stitch Fix for a little bit because just getting everything settled, all of that stuff. We'll be having some moving vlogs going up soon on the Alicia, I believe I changed the name to Alicia Land channel. But if you guys are interested in, in wow, that was like, you know sometimes you like talk and it's just like brrr. If you guys are interested in them on here, we also could do that too. I'm just trying to figure out my way on this channel to be honest with you. We're just, we're just trying to figure out where we're going here. Anyways, let's get into the box. I have not opened this one yet. A lot of the times I peek at them before, shh, don't tell. Um, but I haven't with this one. So all packed, all beautifully and nicely. Oh, I do want to see, that's one of the things I really like about Stitch Fix, is your stylist writes like why they chose everything, and then they show you all the stuff they picked and like different ways you can wear them. Okay, so let's see what she said. She said, hi Leash, I'm so thrilled to see that you love the styles in the last fix and I hope we can continue that trend today. I know you're always up for fun and unusual print, so I thought I'd include one of this year's biggest trends for you today, tie-dye. I love tie-dye. The market in spruce cardigan is a lightweight sum enough to wear on a spring day in Gilbert or a chilly night this summer. What is a chilly night? <laughs> you can pair it with the market in spruce jumpsuit in this fix for a pattern mixing style or keep things simple and rock it with your black tank from last time. The 822 denim jean will be a perfect complement to that style. You'll love their low rise too. Mm, I don't love low rise jeans. Let me know how they fit. If this pair of jeans is too big, we can adjust it to send some tens next time around. They'll also be fun match to wear with the Kaylee cold shoulder top. Happy styling, Han. Thank you, Han. All right, so let's get into this. So the first thing is the cardigan that she said that was tie dye. This is cute. This is really cute. It's very light tie-dye. It's just like black and white. It's soft as hell. And I know there was a, a cardigan that I liked last time, but I didn't keep it because it was like a little too short. But this is so, oh my God, this is really, really soft. Ooh, I'm excited about that. Then next we have this. This is the cold shoulder top that she had mentioned. I love this. I was laughing that this was included because one of the things Stitch Fix just added, that you can pick clothes like out without having an actual stitch sent to you. They have like ones they think you'll like. And this was one of them that I was like, oh, I like that. And then the fact that it was in my stitch, I was like, yes. So this is really cute. And then we have the 1822 denim jeans again. We will see, like I said, because of the way that my body is generally, I don't love low rise uh, because I just don't. So jeans have been a gamble in Stitch Fix. There's been some that have been cute, but then they're like too stretchy. Like my body just is frustrating when it comes to jeans. So it's always one where I'm like, eh, I don't know how I feel. All right, next one is, ooh, it's like a jammy set. That's cute. <gasps> Okay, this is like everyday wear for me right here. So we have these cute little shorts and then this little tank top, very soft, like holy crap soft. This is like everyday wear for me. And then, ooh, is this is a jumpsuit. <gasps> oh my God, I love a jumpsuit. This is cute as hell. Oh, I hope this fits. I really hope this fits. This is very cute. All right, let's get to trying stuff on. So here are the jeans and that cold shoulder shirt. I had to take my bra off, so I'm just like, Bleh. I hate feeling no bra. But I've like gotten so into bralettes that it's weird, okay? <laughs> the jeans, weirdly enough, are the best fitting ones that I've gotten 
so far when it comes to Stitch Fix. They're a, like just a tiny bit, they're not too tight, like they're, they're, they fit. There's no extra crap. It's actually fits, which is just wild to me. But I just, I don't know if I, I don't know. I gotta figure out if I wanna keep them. I kind of have been iffy when it comes to jeans right now because it's almost summertime. But the cute thing is, is that these are actually more like little, like they're not quite capris, but I like that they're not too long and we still are, you know, rocking skinny jeans, which my millennial self loves. This shirt is also super cute. I love that it's a little bit loose in the stomach because again, that's always my like area that I don't particularly love. So this is actually pretty cute. I'm, I'm like shocked with these jeans. When she, when I read low rise, I was like, oh shit. This isn't early 2000s low rise. This, I mean, I would call this mid rise, right? Like this is mid rise. Low rise to me is like here. Cause I think of literally early 2000s thong sticking out of your ass. That's not this. So this is, this is cute. Okay, let's try this beautiful cardigan. It's definitely going with the outfit that I'm wearing right now. Oh my God. You know, like, here's what I do when I'm judging. Oh my God, there's pockets, fuck yeah. When I'm judging a cardigan, my first thought is movie theater. Now I haven't been to the movie theater in over a year. Most of us haven't, but I always think like, is this light enough Oh, look, it covers my hands. That was a big problem with one of the last ones that we got where it wasn't long enough and I'm like, I just want my hands covered. Okay, this cardigan might be like an absolutely keeping. This is so soft. It feels like movie theater cardigan in the sense that it's not too heavy. It's pretty, it's pretty thin, but it's incredibly soft. And <laughs> the way I judge it when I'm talking like movie theater is like, is it gonna keep me warm enough? Not like overly warm or like overly overheated, anything like that, but it's gonna keep me warm enough. It's perfect. I love it, I love the print. It's so damn soft, and it is really that movie theater level of comfort. I hope that someone else understands where my brain is at with this. <laughs> Next up is this jumpsuit. I love a good jumpsuit, and this is no exception. This is so incredibly comfortable. It's like really cute, it's got motherfucking pockets. And at first I wasn't sure how I felt about it just because again, this is my area that I get really insecure about. Um, but I'm trying to get over that and I put on like some of those, like I have a couple of high-waisted undies that like go up to here so they kind of just help to like smooth, smooth everything out or whatever. And I think that that helped me feel comfortable in this one. But just overall, oh my gosh. So cute. It's nice too because sometimes I have the issue when it comes to rompers and jumpsuits where like the torso is not long enough for me and this one feels like it's long enough. It's um, yeah, because sometimes you, know, you get like that camel toe action that you really don't want. This one's not giving me that, which makes me really happy. But just overall, very cute. I'm into this. It's also very lightweight, so I feel like even though it's long pants, it's definitely something that I could wear in the summertime here because it is super lightweight. I don't feel like I need a bra with it, which is also something that is super exciting because it seems like it's holding everything up, keeping everything good. Hella cute. I'm into it. Very into it. Last thing, this is a no. These are way too tight. No thank you. If I'm gonna wear something comfortable, I want it to be comfortable. So this is a little bit too tight. I'm not loving it. It is soft, it is comfortable. I can see myself getting it in like a size bigger, just because when I'm wearing like clothes around the house, I want bigger clothes always. And again, like I said, this area is very hard for me to accept, so I'm just trying. But out of everything here, this would be the, the no. The no, 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 no. Okay, so the first thing was the Kaylee top. Now, like I said, this was one that I already had seen. And I was like, okay, yeah, I really do like that. So I think that that might be one that I want to keep. The only issue is I'm going to have to find a bra for it. Because, I mean, I've showed you this, this before, but the majority of the, the bras that I wear lately are the Calvin Klein bralettes. They're so comfortable. However, they're not exactly the most fashion forward in the sense that they look like a sports bra. So like clothes like this, they don't really go with. I really do like it. And I think that it's a way to kind of get my, out of my normal, I mean, this isn't really a normal shirt, but you know what I mean? Like a bigger t-shirt. So I'm gonna go with keep it. The size, preferably just because of my comfort level, I would say that it's too small because I would like a bigger size. But if we're trying to get out of that habit, it does fit. 
the style, I do like it. The fit, I like it. The quality is really nice and the price is what I would expect from Stitch Fix. The Russo tank and short lounge set, we are returning it. It is too small, it is okay. It is okay. The quality is okay. The price, $58 for this is not even remotely, no, no. Ugh. $74, oh God. How much are the jeans? I was also curious. Oh, the jeans are only 50 bucks. I might keep the jeans. They're a tiny bit small, like a T, like two, like if I got a bigger size, they'd be way too big is where I'm at right now. I've been trying to like keep track of stuff and like trying to eat healthier and stuff. So we're gonna go with those, they fit. Okay, they're really cute. They're the first jeans I've gotten from Stitch Fix that actually fit really nicely, don't have all that baggy part in the hip. So they seem like they're better for like someone like me who has absolutely no hips at all. Um, so we'll, I, I'm gonna, right now we're gonna go with, gonna keep it. The style, I do like them. The fit, I like them. The quality is good. The price, I'm surprised because that for jeans, usually jeans from here are super expensive. Sorry, I'm working my way back up to this because the price on that makes me really sad, but it's really cute. Ah! Okay, the cardigan, we're going to keep. Size is perfect. I love everything about it. I know that one of the things from the last video, a lot of people were saying how expensive these products were when you could just go to like TJ Maxx and find the same thing. And I completely understand that. Totally. I think the thing here for me is that they pick out stuff that I don't think I would necessarily pick out. I've been in a place where I've been buying quantity over quality for a really long time, especially with like us purging everything and getting ready to move. I don't want to do that anymore. So I'd rather have somebody show me like five pieces that I really like and I think I'll wear regularly than go to TJ Maxx and spend $50 on 15 things that I don't love, if that makes sense. So I've just, it's just a mindset shift. I completely understand if you're looking at this and going $44 for a cardigan, I get it. Um, but I'm keeping this cardigan. Here's, here's where I'm having a tough time. That is really expensive for a jumpsuit. And I like the jumpsuit and I feel confident in the jumpsuit and it's cute as hell and it's got pockets. Okay. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna get it. The only reason I'm gonna get it is because so many of you guys have watched these videos and signed up and if you sign up for my link and you schedule your first fix, you get $25, I get $25 credit. And because you guys have done that, I have credits right now. So I'm going to get it specifically because of that. I think that if I was paying out of pocket, I probably wouldn't and I would hate it because it's so cute and I really do like it. But thanks to you guys, um, we're gonna get it and we're gonna say that price is ridiculous because it is. So thank you all. I'm just gonna say a big thank you to anyone who has used my link and gotten your stitch. I hope that you've liked it. Okay, so holy crap, this was the most successful stitch I've had in a really long time. The only thing I'm returning um, are, is this tank top, which even with credits, absolutely not. I would pay $25 for this, period, end. Other than that, I'm really happy with all of this stuff. Does this stitch feel personalized to you? Yes. Are you satisfied? Yes. Did it match your style? Yes. Are you looking forward to it? getting another fix? Yes. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments any other boxes that you'd like me to try. So far with Stitch Fix, I have been happy with it. I do like that you can change the stylist if you don't love the style that they're giving you. Obviously, the best thing you can do when you're doing these boxes is be as specific as possible with your problem areas, things that you're comfortable with, things that you aren't comfortable with, your style, things that you like. The more information that you give them, the more customized it's going to be for you. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.